What's up guys, it's Defender Place here, and today I got another Fortnite update video, and this update is version 1.32 or version 1.10. Now, in this, I'm going to be going over the patch notes, the game awards, as in the new mode that we're getting, uh, there's a new inventory UI, and there's also some exclusive heroes for both Xbox One X and the PlayStation 4. So, let's get into it. So, the Game Awards and the new game mode. So, basically, the Game Awards is kind of like the Emmys, but for gaming. And this year, Fortnite has made Best Multiplayer Title of 2017. And it will be today, December 7th, at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Anyways, they are going to be releasing their new mode live at that event so if you want to see it live i will make sure to leave the patch notes in the description and i'll add another separate link just for the game awards which is linked to their twitter uh, they've also added a new inventory ui which is believe me it's so much easier to use you like basically you can switch weapons out and it's it's just so much easier to do it. It shows your traps, your resources, it shows your ammo, and it shows your equipment much easier. So just uh, when you play, just it's really, it's so much easier to use things. Okay, so for the exclusive heroes. Now, they've introduced four new heroes for the Xbox One X and the PlayStation 4. Now, Xbox One is getting these exclusive heroes because of their new release of the xbox one x and epic games just wants to support microsoft with their new console coming out and playstation 4 i think is just for a fair trade-off so that playstation isn't left in the dark with this new exclusive hero situation for save the world so uh we're going to be going over some of the patch notes uh we're not going all over all of them because, you know, I don't do that. It's, that's just my thing. And uh, this week's patch notes, there's a lot of stuff. I mean, really. So I'm going to be going over gameplay, a few of the bug fixes under gameplay. Uh, under weapons, I'm going to be going over a few of the bug fixes for that too. Uh, a few for audio and... Uh, the rest is just uh, a lot of performance and audio fixes, so we're just going to leave it at that, and I will uh, let you guys look over those. So, okay. So, for gameplay, they decrease the chance of getting bandages from treasure chests and supply drops by 35%, which that's, uh, I don't know why they want to do that, but okay. Uh, they reduce the aim assist on controllers. It, they're saying that this will make it easier to lead targets with a sniper rifle. And the updated aim assist system allows to iterate easily. And uh, they want us to let us know what they think and uh, how they can improve the aim assist. Uh, so for bug fixes, I'm going to be going over a few of them. So they're saying players will no longer fall through the world if they are eliminated while jumping. Gliders will no longer deploy if a player is using a launch pad in the down but not out state players will no longer jitter while falling and skydiving dancing no longer goes on cooldown if it fails to play and chests and addicts will no longer spawn loot on roofs or outside walls so that is for gameplay for weapons they remove tracers from the silent smg Sniper rifles no longer reload while in scoped view. For bug fixes under weapons, they fixed an issue which prevented grenades from exploding. They fixed an issue which caused crosshairs to disappear if a sniper rifle was fired right before the battle bus took off. Fixed several issues with the smoke grenade effect. The smoke effect now appears the same in, in and out of the storm. Players no longer see through the smoke effects when using a scope from within the smoke. A scope from within the smoke. Okay. Players no longer experience a flash effect when multi 
multiple smoke grenades go off at once. Okay. For audio, uh, there's a ton of audio stuff, man. Uh, they reduced the volume for ambient trap sounds and made them less frequent, which, why would they want to do that? I, never mind. Uh, added a new warning sound that activates when playing approaches the ceiling or wall trap. Okay. Teammate footsteps now quieter than enemies. Thank you. That was, oh my god, that's, <laughs> that's so nice to see. Okay, they added different footstep sounds for wood, stone, metal, and dirt, grass surfaces. It's now easier to hear footsteps through walls. Okay. Uh, for performance, they improved the general frame rate when multiple characters are nearby. That's really good. Improved server performance by reducing the number of redundant movement events sent from clients. Improved Xbox One rendering by reducing the CPU stalls. Improved performance when rendering lighting and shadows. Improved performance when rendering bushes and other clutter objects. And they improved the game thread performance by converting more game logic BPSs to C++. So that is pretty much all I'm going to be going over for the patch notes. There's a ton of them. So if you want to read them and look at, see what else they changed, those are just the main things that I found that, you know, would be legitimate and uh, to the subject. So, uh, yeah, make sure you like and subscribe. And don't forget to go to the Game Awards, you know, go on their Twitter and, uh, and make sure you watch that so you can see what the new mode is because that looks... If it's this, you know, if the scheme mode is that crazy good, man, this is definitely the event you do not want to miss. So don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in another video. Thanks for watching.